back to my youtube channel her body goal where we set body goals plan for them and smash them welcome back to my channel you guys thank you for coming back if you are new thank you and make sure you subscribe if you are old subscriber welcome back so in this video i wanted to share with you guys 10 habits that helped me lose weight i've officially lost 26 kgs and i just wanted to share with you guys my journey to her body goal. I'm not really on the body goal that I desire, but I'm grateful that I'm here because it took me so much time, so much procrastination, so much ups and downs. So let's just get right in the video because I get so excited when I'm talking about my journey. It hasn't been easy, so you understand the joy. Anyway, let's get in the video. <laughs> so I'm back. Fun story is I realized that top was was one of my big clothes and it just wasn't fitting right so i was like okay let me just change to something more appropriate so so yes let's get into the video number one which is very important i developed a love relationship with food not a hate relationship because i feel like sometimes we are scared of food like no this will make me fat this will make me gain this make me this will make me lose weight so I developed that love relationship where I'm not afraid to eat anything, but I should understand why I'm eating it and the benefits it will give me. That way it became so easy for me to control my eating habits, for me to control my portions, for me to just have my cheat meals. They call them cheat meals, but I prefer to call them fun meals because to me it's like, it's just for fun. It's not really beneficial to your body. Tip number two was incorporate working out. I wasn't a person who would wake up, who would do any sporty activities. I used to do swimming in high school though. However, that ended there. Like after high school, I was just like a free bed on the bed. Yeah, it didn't just work for me. Like eventually I just gave up. But this time I was I was gifted um, a gym card and the gym was very, very, very expensive. So I took the opportunity and I was like, you know, because the gym was fancy and I needed it then. I was like, OK, let's let's do this. So I created the habit of working out, just not overnight, but bit by bit, baby steps. I'll go in a week, maybe three times. And eventually I just fell in love with working out. And by creating that habit of working out, it's been beneficial in my journey because now I understand the importance of working out. I understand that my my heart needs the cardio. My heart needs to be pumped. It shouldn't be lazy. So it's very important that I understood the benefits of working out and why I was working out. That helped me along my journey. Three, portion control. I mentioned about my relationship with food. But what I also developed was a habit of uh, portion control where I would understand how much protein my body would need and how much carbs my body would need and I would just control it using the basic, the basic measurements, you know, a handful of protein and this and that. For me, I increase more of protein and moderate of carbohydrates. So and of course vegetables and, and, and other minerals. Replace that habit of, or my addiction to sugar, I had to find something that worked for me. So I started having infused water instead of juice, started smoothies just to help me lose weight. Cause for sure, juice is very high in calories compared to just water or infused water. So there was a swap or replacement from sugar, which is high in calories, to probably just water or homemade juices. That was a habit that helped me along the journey. If I had to understand why I was doing everything, I would research about it, maybe juicing. If I want to do a seven day cleanse, I would understand why I'm doing it, the benefits. And that has really honestly helped me along the journey because Understanding why you are doing something gives you the motivation that you want the benefits. Tip number six, keeping it simple. You don't want to exaggerate something that you end up failing at. 
you don't want to be too extreme that your body responds in a negative way remember i had plain zucchini boiled zucchini and it just wasn't good for me like like i by like good i mean it just didn't taste nice you know i just steamed it and that was it and i realized with time like like going too extreme didn't work for me so don't go too extreme don't go too 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 far your body responds just well with time tip number seven snacking snacking for me is non-negotiable healthier options of snacks i'm not talking about fries all the time i always have to move with a snack in my bag by that i mean a fruit nuts so that i don't crave for unhealthier food options that i end up overeating making me gain back what i have lost so i always have to move with snacks around in my bag so the next time you meet me and you're hungry feel free to ask for a snack number eight meal planning okay i'll combine these two meal planning plus meal prep so i would rather i have my food um fresh so that's why i love to plan for my meals so then i know okay for breakfast today i'll have this for lunch i'll have this for my snack after lunch i'll have this so i have like a schedule uh like a table laid out of what i'll eat in a week just to help me stay on track weekends are flexible because i love to eat out sometimes so weekends are flexible i'd rather have 90 days of of clean eating and just a meal that's fine for me tip number nine accountability i found a way of how i'm able to stay consistent or how i was able to achieve this if i was accountable to someone so i i found that social media was an accountable place for me that's why i came up with her body goal so that i share my journey and the more i post the more I want to stay consistent and true to what I post. So that was my way of being accountable to my journey. So that helped me as well. Another habit I have just to help me be accountable has been to take pictures. I take pictures and compare my journey every month. That's a habit I have just to help me maintain my weight. I also weigh myself at least every morning just sometimes when i'm late i don't even bother tip number 10 has been goals so i have like every month or probably depending on what exactly i want to achieve i have a plan or a goal that i have to set so for example last month that was august i had a 2020 workout plan where i had to work out 20 times 2020 sorry i had a 20 <laughs> i was just confused workout plan for the month of august and my target was to have 20 workouts however i did it that was okay but for the month my target was to have 20 workouts if i would work out morning and evening i would count that one and two with different goals and I got, I think it should be 16 or 17 out of 20. Not really 20 out of 20. That didn't happen. Here and there I had things to do. But at least I was more than half and I was proud of that. So with goals, I have a habit of setting a goal. And my plan is to achieve it. If I'm in the gym, I have a number of calories I want to burn during my workout. So that helps me. And I realize the more I have goals... The more it becomes easier for my journey so every time every month comes up probably now i'm on the 90 day challenge which ends um sometime this month yeah this month and that that too has pushed me an extra mile because during quarantine like i had so much gains like it was just free for all just eating and you don't realize you're you are really beyond your calorie requirement making you gain so for me having a goal the 90 day daniel fast um i've done 21 days of of just vegan 21 days um 90 day challenge seven day juicing all those goals that i set for myself 
have been beneficial for my journey. Those are the 10, 10, 10, 10 habits I have created over the past three years just to help me lose weight. I will be of help to you if you are trying to lose weight because definitely there has been, uh, like these things I'm talking about have been of help. I wanted to share them with you guys as I am on my journey to a body goal. Thank you for watching you guys. I'll see you in my next video. See you.